Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to This Land is My Land. The best and the worst names, viewer submissions number three. Okay guys, we had quite a few submissions today. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bust right through it. So Cr Ghosty said yesterday, he uh, said Crazy Wolf. And Crazy Wolf actually was 430 skill points but negative 10 weight. He asked if I just add an S to the end of that, what would that do? So we're going to do that. So it's plus 70 health there, Ghosty. Just so you know. All right, Dan Olson, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you, some of you guys put in multiple suggestions, and I've asked you to just put in one. But uh, there's a there's a few enough of you today where I'm going to go ahead and allow the, the multiples. So uh, Dan Olson, he has a few that I guess are going to be pretty good. We're going to go ahead and... First one is, I don't even know how to pronounce this. I think some of these you're just making up. These aren't real names. But Dan... And we're going to give the submissions you gave a try. So, yeah, I'm not sure these are real names, though. It's Navi... Navi I don't even know, man. <laughs> it's Naviste Wiv. And it's 165 health, 5 warriors, and 25 weight. That's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. I don't think it beats out Samuel Ha, though. But, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, the next one that you submitted was Lionel Teka Kujet. Basic enemy detection and 3,400 skill points. Wow, dude. That's amazing. Lino Tekakujet. The next one was Lapithale. 45 stamina, 4 warriors, and 20 weight. That's a pretty solid name right there. Now, Crow Killer said Big Cloud, which it sounds like a true native warrior name, but negative 110 health. It almost sounds like you're stacking the deck against Native American names. Trevor Shimate said Crazy Horse. That's skinning plus two warriors. Okay, well, that's not too bad. So many of you, like a lot of you, said this one name that I, I, I don't know why I didn't type it in myself when I first got the game. Because, hey, who didn't love the real Lone Ranger, right? Tonto. It's plus 60 health. Connie E asked for Running Wolf. That's skinning and negative 20 weight. And then On the Road Runner 2.0 says Hang Kasturi, which is 770 skill points. And also Dung Beetle. Which is negative 105 health and negative 55 stamina. Why? Because it's a dung beetle. AR Razorbox is one of Panther across the sky, and that gives you concentration. Cannibal Clown says little big man. Oh man, 110 health but negative one warriors. Really seems like. Hmm. And just treading said you gotta do Fohahontis. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. 20 health plus one warrior and plus five weight. Fohahontis, I like that. That's a good name. But once again, it seems like Samuel and Hannah actually came up with some really good names. I, Samuel owns the game, so he's been experimenting with trying to find the cipher that's actually going to break open the key to what is the best buffs with what names. And a couple of the ones that he actually came up with were these. Giga Yago, which is 150 health. Whoa. Oh. Excuse me. Gig Yago. 4,500 skill points. It's amazing what one letter can do. And a Bequa. 195 health, heals wounds, and plus 20 weight. All right, guys. Well, there's some really good submissions in there today. I truly appreciate each and every one of you doing your part and, and, and giving us great ideas for different names for the game. You never know when, when one of those names might pop, and it might be just immense amount of power for your character. So anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you later. Bye-bye.